What's up, YouTube? Kyle Quad 4 here, bringing you guys episode number 5 of our Pokemon Phoenix Gym Quest. Today we take on Justin, the Grass-type Gym Leader, and if we win, we get a Battle-Ready Breloom. Now, if you guys haven't checked out episodes 1 through 4, those are on my channel, and I will be putting this into a playlist very, very soon, so check those out, get caught up. Also, if you haven't checked out the Pokemon Phoenix um, Facebook page, their link will be in the description below, along with all of my music that I use for my videos. So go check their uh, page out. Uh, very, very fun group and good community to, to be a part of. So, um, yeah. So Justin's rules are for his gym. Looks like there's only two. It's an OU battle with only two super effective type Pokemon. Now, if you guys don't know, grass type Pokemon are weak to bug, fire, flying, ice, and poison. All right, so I can only bring two of those kind of Pokemon, and those are his only rules. So grass types definitely have a lot of weaknesses, and so we should definitely be able to exploit that with our team. And speaking of teams, let's get into the team analysis. What we're bringing this week uh, is going to start out with a Mega Charizard Y, with the Drought ability with Heat Wave, Protect, Air Slash, and Roost, this thing is going to destroy Grass-type Pokemon. Um, two moves that can do it. Um, Roost to get our HP back, Protect to get the Speed Boost. Uh, once, once we Mega Evolve, actually I don't know if it gets a Speed Boost or not. But Protect to protect us against uh, you know attacks or whatever. So Mega Charizard Y is kind of the priority here. We also have our Gengar with Life Orb, with Sludge Bomb, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball. This thing's going to wreck shop too, uh, so very, very excited for that. Um, moving on to a physical attacker, which is our Gallade. With, it's, a, it's a Choice Scarf Gallade with Steadfast Ability, with Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Psycho Cut, and Close Combat. Because these three Pokemon uh, right here are pretty much the attackers of our team. Um, they're all going to do ridiculous amounts of damage. Now, these other three are kind of in here to so kind of help out. Like the Uxie here with Leftovers, um, with Stealth Rock, U-Turn, Knock Off, and Toxic. We're trying to get some rocks up, get some get some of that damage uh, when they switch in. You know, right off the bat, U-Turn to get some initiative. Also, it's super effective against grass types. Knock Off to knock off items. And if anybody is giving us a hard time, we can go for Toxic. Now, the EV spread, I'm trying to max out both defenses and its HP. So, 248 in HP, 200 in defense, and then 60 in special defense with the careful nature. As you can see, uh, 352 or 353, level 100, of course, but you know, the defenses are pretty much the same uh, with this spread. So, Uxie's definitely going to be um, helpful this match. Going to Keldeo with the Secret Sword, Icy Wind, and Hidden Power Fire with the choice specs. It's another attacker on our for our team. Um, not necessarily the number one, two, or three option, um, just because Hidden Power, Fire, and Icy Wind are pretty weak. But with the choice specs, it definitely bumps those up for us. So Keldeo is kind of that, that last resort. If something crazy happens and these three go down, Keldeo is here to help us. Uh, and then we're going to end things with Sylveon. Now, this Sylveon is Calm Mind, Wish, Protect, and Hyper Voice. Um, it's funny because these two Pokemon seem to come, and Uxie, seem to come on a lot of my teams. The reason that is is because I'm in a GB -like, GBA like league um, called the Pokemon Battle Association, the PBA. And those three guys are a part of my team. And so, you know, they're already made um, and ready to go in my inbox and so I use them a lot and they're good Pokemon so Sylveon's here to pass the wishes off um, using for himself uh, does have leftovers with the pixelate ability it is a defensive Sylveon so if that is the team feel pretty confident um, grass types can be tricky they like to do leech seed and sleep powder you know get you some status status conditions we do not have a heal beller this week um, I feel like with our four attackers, we can pretty much clean this thing up quick. And so that's the team. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the battle. And let's get into it. All right, guys. So here's the battle against Justin. Now, I'm going to lead off with our Uxie. Get some stealth rocks up. 
uh, and just really kind of scout out who he wants to lead with, which is his Torterra. So definitely going to get some rocks up. We can take any hit that this Torterra may have, uh, any move, I guess, and any hit will do pretty much nothing. So we get our rocks up. He's going to go for the Leech Seed. Um, not too worried about that. Our team is very, very... Um, has, a, has a very good advantage against his team. But Uxi is definitely going to U-turn here. Let's get some initiative off. You know, switch in someone else who can do some real damage to him. Um, that U-turn only does about maybe 10 or 15%. So we're going to go right into our Gallade, who is Choice Scarf. He will have to absorb one of these attacks uh, from the Torterra. And then we can just fire off an Ice Punch. So he's going to go for a Stone Edge. It is going to connect. And it's going to do about 20%. To our Glade, but we're going to go for an Ice Punch, and that's definitely going to knock out the Torterra. It is four times effective against him. So down goes the Torterra. We're starting off the match very, very well. Uh, very, very happy so far with how things are going. And we're just going to stay in and just keep Ice Punching with this Glade. Um, and the rocks do take uh, some damage, do some damage, and then this Cradilly's weakness policy is going to go off and I kind of got scared for a second but then I remembered we're we're very very uh, much faster we're a lot faster than this Cradilly he's going to go for Brine which is going to a, a quite amount of damage uh, we go for Ice Punch again and down goes the Cradilly so like I said things are going well and so here comes the Ludicolo um, I am stuck into Ice Punch so I definitely need to switch out here uh, into something else and so we are going to go out into our Uxi again uh, this is really the only problem we have with uh, his team and like I said we do like in the team analysis we do not have a heal beller and so we kind of have to just fight through this burn and so I figured right here we don't have any uh, great answers except for the Charizard but I did not want to switch into a Scold um, so we're just going to go for Toxic and just kind of go back and forth here uh, and so I can whittle this thing down, um, you know, and just, it's, Uxie's defensive enough to really survive some hits, but then he does land the Hydro Pump, which kind of negates everything I just said. Um, we are going to get another turn of Toxic, I think it's our first turn of Toxic off. Uh, we are hit with our Burn uh, damage, and we're, so we're just going to go for Knock Off, get as much damage off as possible before Uxie goes down. Uh, does nothing. So the wave incense. So that's why the hydro pump did a lot. Um, and then it hits again. So Uxie goes down. Uh, we get another turn of poison off. And right here, I figured let's go out into our Gengar, our sneaky snooks, um, because from here on out we can pretty much sweep the entire team with sludge bomb. And so there's a sludge bomb. And the Ludicolo is going to go down to that. Now we are going to take uh, some life orb damage, but I am, you know, obviously, you know, not caring about that at this point. Now the only reason, you know, the only thing I was scared of was if uh, this thing was either scarfed, um, but I knew it couldn't go for the Mock Punch because I am a Ghost type, and so a Sludge Bomb definitely is going to take this Breloom down, and things are looking fantastic. Um, Sneaky Snooks is faster than all the rest of the grass types on his team, um, unless they are Choice Scarfed. And so we're just going to keep firing off uh, these Sludge Bombs. And the Go Goat is going to go down as well. Starting to get a little mini sweep with this Gengar. Um, and like I said, the, the grass type... Um, itself has a lot of weaknesses and so it, it can be hard to be a grass type gym leader I think so the Leafeon comes out we are obviously gonna just keep clicking sludge bomb here and his Pokemon are just gonna keep dropping we do get a crit I don't think it mattered um, so down goes the Leafeon we take some more life orb damage we're about you know 55 percent and that is actually going to be the game so, quick, quick match this week. We do pick up our Battle Ready Bray Loom. Um, I was surprised that the battle was already over. Um, but yeah, we, we took, took care of business uh, this week. Or I guess this time. 
and you know prepped very very well for his team. I don't think he was expecting the ice punching Bray Lu or the uh, Glade at all, but I knew that between you know the Glade, the Gengar, and our Charizard, that we would take this team out pretty quickly. Um, half of our te team didn't even see the field, uh, which I guess is a good thing to be able to you know come out that strong and just clean up. Uh, his team very very fast and very very effectively so that is the match this week guys sorry it's short but nonetheless hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the battle but until next time guys I'm Kyle Quad 4 signing out I will see you guys later